Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Betches. Not to be confused with Books and Whopper. <laughs> no, we're not doing Bridge Kingdom. You're wrong. <laughs> Whopper, Whopper. <laughs> okay, well, I'm Kristen and that's Whopper, Whopper. Whopper Jr. That's Erica and McChicken. <laughs> <laughs> and Maria. Um, this is a book <laughs> podcast. We swear, we spoil, we talk about sex. We're going to spoil this book, so don't get mad at us later when we spoil this book. And Nobody's that, ever gotten mad at us for spoiling the book. They get mad at us when we spoil other books in the book we're not talking about. Yeah, you guys stop doing that. Stop doing that. Somebody you do that. Wilson said, please stop spoiling things when you're not talking about and the actual so book. And it's so true. Like, imagine. Which one have we spoiled? Like, other than, it was, other it than was Ver- in the Verity one. Yeah, that one. Fuck off. There's been a few. There's been a few. Even in the no, Patreon one. hasn't. Line. Yeah, even in the Patreon one. Usually you CC2. Casually bring up crescent city all the time we we warned everyone yeah because i put text up on the screen no did we not stop and say hey night there's a maria did did. i did you were ready to do i had to mute you you were ready to go no i was like let's let's do no you didn't she said and this is a spoiler for you i'm like wait wait wait, wait." but then she was just gonna keep fucking you gotta give people a chance here you gotta give them a pause to pause to move we do we need to talk about consent because there has been many times where I've said no and you just fucking, you don't care. You don't care, Erica. I think we might need to have an entire podcast about consent where we sit down oh and we gosh. teach Erica whatever society didn't. So Whatever society okay. didn't. Anyway, oh, the book that we're talking about today is Thinly Donovan is Killing It. Finley! How did I still fuck that up? You're looking. I yes, don't like them dispelling. Finley Donovan is you killing fucked it. Up too. You fucked it up. Finley Donovan is killing it by fin- El Casimano. Finlay. Finlay. I say Finley. Finally. Finley is with an EY. EY. Yes, I know. But it's in the audio book, they the say dis- Finley. The stupid spelling. <laughs> okay. I, Sorry. I, I, don't, I don't like the name Finley. I, don't, it's not I my like favorite. it. It's not my favorite. I like it for a guy. So I can call him Finn? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So just call him Finn. Because like Finley is more of a guy name, and I'm th- maybe this is uh, like controversial, but I was like Finley and Donovan. So the whole time I'm like, finally Donovan is killing it. To me, I was like, oh, this book's about maybe that's it. maybe that's like a play on on the gotta words. be right. Uh huh. Who's if the not, author? It is now L. Casamano. Okay, cool. Finley. Do- How did we hear about this book? Because you brought I, it. I brought this book up. <laughs> I've heard about this book for a couple years on Bookstagram, not Bookstagram, but uh, BookTube. A lot of booktubers have Booktube, read this book Booktube. and loved this book. Yeah. Saying really? it's like, yeah, that's Wait, like, actually, <laughs> I'm dead serious. Okay, okay. Um, a lot of people love this book. They love how outlandish it is in a way. And like, I just thought it must be amazing if all these booktubers are giving it five stars. Yeah. So I, I added it to my like want to read a while back. And when we were thinking about books for the, the new season, season, we haven't changed the season. Number, <laughs> um, I thought... Well, I want to read more fun books that we can just like, oh. you know, bitch around. And I love that. And this is a fun book to bitch about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I well, had fun. What were you doing? There was like a moment. If you're not watching us on YouTube, everybody go find us on YouTube. Just look up Books and Betches. There was a moment where your hand kind of just like fluttered. By so, so I was just curious what was going on. This there. portion of your laptop, of her laptop is yep. in the screen. And I oh, thought it was something. Better? And then I, so that, then I was like, is it me or is it? <laughs> is it me? Am, Am I, I the drunk? Drunk? <laughs> I don't know. I just looked over and your hand was like fluttering was like, all about. I, just I was like trying to see. I was ready to wrap up. It was like. really distracting. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people love this book. I hear you. Um, I, I saw that too, especially on Goodreads when I went to rate it. Yeah. Well, it um, has a good rating. 4.04 4. out of 115,000 ratings. A, that's a lot of so that's straight a lot of up, rate. I hated this book. You and I'm sorry. You disliked it. No. Yeah. I just like this book. And hate is a very to, strong to word. Know, to know... A fault of the I think is very great writing. Sure. Um, sure. This is my opinion. Yeah, you're entitled. I am not. I'm not just like, I'm glad I read it. I I, I read the oh, whole thing. Oh, you like loathed it. Um, when you say hate, that's a very like. I didn't hate like me it. with after. Like I hate. No, after. I didn't. Was okay, it a rage didn't. read? No, no. Then you didn't hate mm, it. Mm, mine was. You just didn't. It might have been a rage read. <laughs> Finley was a rage read for you? Yeah. <gasps> Two people that didn't like it and you liked it. I thought it was fine. Good. Oh. <laughs> I, thought you it. I thought it was fun i thought it was a fun like little like i i took it for what it was it's, see that's it's the problem. ridiculous that's the problem i didn't take it for what it was yeah so i think in this group in this batch of books we're talking about this this sure this time i went into these books being like eh, okay we'll see what happens i, I barely read yeah. the synopsis i just like knew 
a Same. vague thing. Same. And said, let's see what happens. Like, same okay. for, like, Nettle and Bone when we get to that. I went in there knowing absolutely same. nothing. And I'm glad that I did that. And I just, uh, I was on for a ride. I just, I don't know that this is at all what I was expecting. I know. It just <laughs> what makes it fun. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to talk about it. I don't know what I, it was. I think we got to do the 60 second. Okay. Right. Who's doing it? Ooh, uh, I'll do it. Erica. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a good one because it's so ridiculous. We need a ridiculous person. So funny quick story. When Chris and I were in um, London, we were talking about this book to my friend Kate, and I was <laughs> just doing our own version of Six Seconds. And Chris just goes, like, "That's it. You're doing it on the podcast because there's oh, no I way you're not doing it." God about that. So you just say no because it was. I was oh, talking about feeling Donovan. Oh yeah, you did a really bad job too. I wasn't doing a bad job. I was explaining how terrible of the book this is. Yeah, which is funny. <laughs> the storyline. You itself. said it was fine. It's fine. All right, we'll just have Erica I gave do it. Because like, here's I gave why a, I want Erica to do it. Three point seven five. Because nobody else here is going to be able to do Nettle and Bone but you. <laughs> and I don't want to load this. Nettle up. and Bone is the most basic storyline. Well, great. You'll do that. It's one. basic as fuck. Okay, Erica, are you ready to do? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know why I signed up for this one. So if you're new to this podcast, we attempt to do this thing where we explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less this week. Erica is going to do Finley Donovan is killing it. I don't know. What? We always add an it's L, the L Donovan. It's the yeah. L. They fucked us over with that one. Nice one. Good All right. One. She got her yawn in, so she's prepared <laughs> and ready. It's like taking a breath. Here we go, Erica. In three, two, one, go. Okay. You're Finley Donovan is a like absolute basket case, like absolute <laughs> mess of a human being okay. her husband divorced her because she is terribly unorganized and weird and weird. <laughs> she has two kids and she's like can't pay a single fucking bill which is like the most unadult thing for We're a 20 year seconds old, into this for movie. a 30 year old to do you're and, not even there uh somebody like offers or somebody wants her to kill their husband and she some on a panera and she takes it up <laughs> she takes up the offer and fucking goes and stalks this guy she's also writing a book about a murder very convenient uh <laughs> plot device <laughs> and i mean 20 seconds and then she goes to try to kill this dude or kind of not. I don't even know what she was trying to do. And he ends up dying. And then she has to like cover it up. No, ten, nine. Okay, we are done. There's I not mean, much. She, she. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, and then a bunch no, of shit happens. No, for no, her no, to try no. To cover it You're up. saying she tries to cover up, but somebody else killed somebody, him. I didn't want to spoil it like that. We Spo always do it. It's the 60 seconds. seconds. <laughs> we spoil the entire plot summary in 60 seconds. That you came up with. This it was your, your idea. idea. <laughs> how do you not know how it works when you made the rules? Yeah. <laughs> so she tries to cover up. Oh, the keep still going. Yeah, you know, keep going. <laughs> she sure, tries to cover sure. up. The, yep, yep. I'll give the, you another the 30 dies. seconds. The guy dies. Yep. Yeah. And then she figures out why or how. The guy is. She didn't kill him. But he's the bad guy. But I, don't, she, I don't know how bad of a guy he is, though. Let's start from the top. I'm done. You don't this. know what. How like bad he, of a guy he, he is? Like he was stalking people, I think, right? Oh, Maria, please get me was, through this podcast, Maria. He was killing Maria. people, though, was he? He was taking, he was drugging He was, like, women raping them. And oh, yeah, he was. Which, by the way, is to blackmail yeah, them for money. Yeah, yeah. Trigger alert at similar, the top. Similar, actually similar to something else that I may have written. Yeah, I remember. Actually, that's that what you, I thought about. I oh, thought about your that. book. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, that was what I was Buy thinking Buy it now about. on Amazon. <laughs> good, good plug. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Stop. But... <laughs> No, Stop. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, She's guy, saying. guy gets murdered. Yes. Is that, I don't know, like, is that, like, he should be in jail for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? Yeah, she didn't want to actually kill him. Let's no, start I from know, the top. I know. Let's start from top. Let's start from top. Okay. So I'm her name is off. Finley. Yeah. Her oh, name's Finley. Can't take the. I don't know what's going on because like everyone doesn't have them on. <laughs> so I feel very. I feel like I'm in my own Just world. Just stay in the microphone. Okay. So Finley Donovan is not killing it. Oh, I guess the plan word killing Get people. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. She's an author. Yeah. Not a good a one. A terrible author. Yes, not a good one. Not a terrible author. She just hasn't had any sales. That's all it is. No, it was like said by her publicist. Like the book that she was writing, like nobody was feeling that shit. Like well, nobody She was liked. running through a writer's was... block. She went through a divorce. The woman's going through things. She's not a likable character. She's the most unlikable character. I know you're I trying to feel bad no, for her. No, no. <laughs> That's a very, like, not the severe. most. Like, yeah, it's not she's, the not, most. she's not likable. She ain't the best, but <laughs> she's not like. 
the most unlikable. Like, how people say, like, oh, they don't like Feyre up. Feyre is 100 leagues better than this girl. Uh, I don't know if I agree with Katniss, that. Katniss. I would put Katniss above this girl. Well, yeah, I actually like Katniss. I don't know what the fuck. You're the only one that hates Katniss. Yeah, you're, that's, that's the Katniss. weirdest beef of all time. But, um... <laughs> You're no, upset because- with Katniss because she was a 16-year-old who didn't want to lead a revolution. And that is the weirdest fucking gripe I've ever heard. Like, you get out there and fucking start leading a I revolution. Would've. All right, she would, though. Yeah. Erica would. No, and she Erica wouldn't. would follow her because she's the luckiest chick on the planet. Would have done it by now. Um, so, no, I, I don't think Finley is a likable character. And I, I don't know that that's not on purpose. I think that she's meant to not be likable, at least in the beginning. Sure. I, th- I felt like they were trying to make her relatable in the worst way i thought so too i thought like i thought she would like you know what i mean and i and like a mom who's just stressed everyone's got got shit going on and like this Mm -hmm. is really hard to do everyone's on on, everyone's on her case like she can't catch a break sure and it's like well it's It's supposed to show how at rock bottom she is but i was on steven's side her (laughs) husband I was not not, not Steven, the, not the not the like cheating on part. But I was like, yeah, you really shouldn't have kids full time if you can't pay the mm-hmm. electric bill. Like mm-hmm. that is unsafe. And he was just paying for everything for her. And she was just kind of racking up the bills like all oh, willy nilly. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Get your I mean, together. he sounded it sounded but like he was thing, kind but of an she asshole. She wasn't like going but, out on shopping sprees. But go get a job. Why Her are job you is writing? See, if it's not working out, you got to get a second yeah. one. I'm well, sorry. At that point, she was trying to make her life work with writing. She wants to be an author. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm sounding like the, an asshole no, here. No, you're right. She, no, you're she, right. She's trying to right. live her dream. It's not her fault. The man wanted to go fucking cheat on her with the goddamn real estate. Oh, I have not you have, Steven. You have. If he hadn't have cheated, this would not have happened. Because I'm not she cheating. was living off his dime. <laughs> Because he fucking left her for some other bitch. Yeah, no, Steven she, is a problem. She he had no, I'm a not saying I'm not saying Steven is a problem. Her you have whole advance has been gone to take oh, no. care of these kids full time. If you have because kids, he fucking left to cheat. <laughs> if you have kids, you have to do whatever the fuck you need to do mm. to pay for their existence. That's and a good she's point. She's doing what she could. She got an advance. It's not her fault they didn't pay her enough. The publishing industry sucks. She should have like delivered pizzas or something. Yeah. Yeah. With Finley Uber Donovan. Driver. And then, and yeah. then, so she has the one babysitter where she's trying to go out and make these meetings. So right? instead sure. of instead and of actually Steven, working, she's trying to kill somebody. No, no, no. You're you're skipping. <laughs> Steven <laughs> then decides to tell the babysitter, hey, if you don't have sex with me, I'm gonna fire you. Yeah, well, Steve's a piece of shit. So okay. then so you're not Steven. I'm not, I'm not so you're not Steven. on Steven's side. No. Okay. But I, I said I related to some of my case, god damn it. Okay, okay. Fair. Steven so. had a good point some of the time. Sure. He put his can't point be on in teams. a few different places. <laughs> he he shouldn't have put it. Steven. I'm just saying the woman was trying with what she was given, and this man yeah, yeah. ruined things. Okay. If he hadn't have done what he did, she wouldn't have to be dedicating also, her entire advance. That was enough for when it was two people. Yeah, to one back. to just th- solo. What real back? I don't think Steven would have done that. What do you mean? I he did. No, I know, but I'm saying like. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. I, 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 felt, I felt like that was very out of his like. I don't think Steven was a like the biggest piece of shit. Mm. I think he was a piece of shit. Sure. Force, forcing your babysitter to have sex with you yeah, or you that fired is, is like that's that you go that's to jail like for demon that. shit. Yeah, I mean that's cheating point. on your wife. Th- oh, half of America now, does that. now, yeah. now, now. We are talking about a very extreme book. So yeah, we're gonna have some extreme. So things in here. um, she's she's an author, right? Clearly, it's not working out. We went over that. Um, but uh, the book that. How did we get to Panera? Like, how did she? What did she, she say? Is, this whole thing is so. This is what bothered stupid. me too. Okay, now you're about to see can why I this. Tell you what sucks. happens. A yeah, random note yes. floats over to her. Yeah, in no, a no, Panera. It's not a random. It's not let a me note. Say it, and then we can yeah. bitch about it. All right, go. So she's at Panera. She's meeting with also Panera that she's been barred from <laughs> because she's got <gotten laughs> pouring a soup over so- hot soup over someone's head. What was the point of that anyway? <laughs> Just to say, I'm having that bad of a time. I oh. have to say Panera. Oh. So she was meant to go to a fancy restaurant with her publicist um, or her agent, whatever hot, it is. If somebody poured hot soup <laughs> over my head, I would, I would mark them. <laughs> you I, know how much that would hurt? No, I, I'm with you. And I'm with gross. you. You'd smell like garlic for days. <laughs> you know, that actually happened. There was like a woman that got hot soup poured on her. Another Panera? woman. Oh, it wasn't at Panera, but it was like a whole news story. Have you really? seen? Have yeah. you seen the girl on TikTok that no. her entire kitchen is just Panera plates? Yes, she's just been stealing. <laughs> she's just been stealing them over time. She put that on the internet. Yeah. yeah, she was like, "Here's my collection," and then goes through. All <laughs> <laughs> we're in. We're in a great world. Oh. Anyway, so she's at Panera because uh, she, she's been running late that morning. Right, that morning she's trying to get to her agent's meeting. 
She's running late because her pel- her babysitter has not shown up. Lo and behold, later we find out that it's because of Steven that the babysitter did not show up at all. Right. She shows up with like a stain on her pants just with a like a wig scarf and sunglasses because for some reason she has to like hide her identity. When she oh, outside. that's why. That's how we got the identity thing. Yeah. Just because she was in Panera and she couldn't be there. What a yeah. dumb fucking so device. She was like, they, I'm barred device. from here. So let me just okay. pretend I'm somebody else. Got it. She goes to me. She writes suspenseful romances. Yes. That's her. That's her shtick. So they're st- they're talking about the her and her agent are talking about the next plot of the book, mm-hmm. and the agent is using language that's very much like a a hitman language. Like yeah. this next one, this next hit has to be this, or oh, right. make sure you know this person is is buried six feet under, kind of thing. Yep. You know, all relating to you're gonna kill it with or whatever. You know, exactly, yeah. all yeah. relating to like that kind of like murder stuff. At a table next next to them. Uh, also in her bag she has like scissors and duct tape or something because sure. her daughter cut her own hair that morning and it was a whole like thing and it was bloody yada yada so that's in her bag next to her is this woman who looks into this bag is you know shocked by its contents hearing this pitch of a book and immediately thinks that woman's a hitman so, yeah because that's what you would consider <laughs> Sorry, right go on and then once the pe- let me finish it <laughs> once the agent <laughs> once the agent leaves this woman comes leaves this leaves finley a note being like i need you basically i need you to kill my husband he's a bad man um his name is this he'll be at this place at this time uh, forty thousand dollars F- 50 50 that yes. is not a lot of money no because, i wrote because, that down <laughs> because because in the the talks right with her agent finley's talking about like my next advance has to be more than what it was yeah like not not five i need 15 yeah the woman and she heard 50 heard, yeah thought it was 50 she goes i can give you fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars to you, kill a person do you think that i would get put on an fbi watch list yes. if i looked up how much does it cost to hire a hitman mm, probably so i but i the think it's worth it I listened to um <laughs> last okay. podcast on the left <laughs> what'd you say i said probably but i think it's worth it she goes okay and starts typing it in. go for it just go for it i love you um what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, now we're going to find out. How much do hitmans cost? There's no way $50,000 somebody's going to go fucking kill another human being for 50. Would you kill somebody else for 50 grand? People do things like this for 20. No. I listen to this all the time. 20,000? Not that much. See? How much how much a hitman make? 8k sometimes. No. Well, I guess if yeah. you're really good at it and you're killing lots of people. If you're good at it, you shouldn't be able to be found on like Google. Well, no typical cia assassin salaries are only like 60 to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year then why would you do that well okay cia assassins is different because you're hired through the government and it's legal killing i'm talking about shit that will send you to jail for the rest of your life that's totally different. i mean it People says it five to fifteen thousand five to fifteen really i've so, so like, the podcast i, assume... I listen to last podcast on the left yeah. talks about this often on their side stories where people are caught because they're trying to hire a hitman and most of the time it's oh, like yeah, you're right. It's like 5K, 12, yeah. 8K. You're right. And um, Henry's always like, no, you should be hiring for more money. Wow, <laughs> There's that's no a, way. That's a good point. People I didn't do even, it for so little. $50,000 is not enough for me to go kill another human being. It's I wonder not. how much Tiger King. No matter how bad they are. His hitman. So I too. originally I thought 50000 was not enough. But now like looking at that, this seems. She was overpaying. Damn. significantly one of my that? gripes now is gone dang it <laughs> but the fact that this all happens to play out that it was is the most ridiculous thing ever like the fact that she was barred from panera so that's why she's wearing a disguise she has the duct tape and the thing in her diaper bag because the of her domino kid. effects are extreme dominoes it, it's so extreme to the point where it's laughable like, that's why it's fun do we think that's like like do you think the author ha- knows that do you think the author was so. like like this is a joke yeah i i see this as like one of those outlandish comedies it meant to be because <laughs> i don't know i'm taking as if it is okay if we take it that way i like it a little better. i take it as a outlandish like the hangover okay like that kind of shit it's the hangover uh, is extreme as fuck see that changes it's my- not gonna happen you're not gonna have yeah. a fucking tiger in your bathroom i feel like if but you it needed more funny that it's moments. supposed to be funny i it's it needed funny. more funny moments. I can, I can give you that. Yeah. I think it didn't have enough comedic they moments. They should have taken that and ran with it. I will say that 
the the tags on this on Goodreads I think should be swapped entirely. What are they? It's tagged as mystery, no. mystery thriller. No, I don't think it's there's thrilling. no thrillingness in this at all. I think the only mystery we have here is the fact that this I don't man like, does get killed. Well, we gotta get to that. I don't yeah. like where she like jumps at that point. So and let's she, let's so get let's get she there. She stalks the guy. Right? Yeah, yep. and, and she goes. Well, she into says the, no. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not a hitman. She goes. And no, then she's you interested. Are. You are. You, I'm yeah. gonna give you. You need this money. Yada yada. The same time too, her babysitter comes back. This is where I find the most outlandish. The babysitter comes in, reads the note. She's like, yeah, let's do it. No, the babysitter doesn't find out until, until uh, he's, he's in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Which again, like, Go, he that stalks. Whole, so, so she like, she's like, all right, let's see how like bad he is. She goes and watches him. He ends like, she's watching him while he's like, she's ugh. watching the bad guy. The There's husband, the, on the a, husband at a date or something like that. Tired the him. woman goes to the bathroom. He slips her like drugs. He's going to like do a random whole, woman. You got to like random woman. You whatever. know, <laughs> you're just saying girl guy. This, well, no, he's that. on a date. Yes. He's on a date. He slips her some drugs. She, d- Finley, Finley sees it. Sees it. And then I, she swaps the drink. She swaps the drink. So then, she, she goes <laughs> and like drop makes um, a mess on the girl in the bathroom. Like drops her wine on yeah, the bathroom yeah, girl. And then, so the girl is still stuck in the bathroom trying to fix her stuff. She goes over to the desk or to the to the table where um he is. I don't know where his yeah, name what is. Yeah, what is his name? I don't remember. Is it what Henry? Name? Something like that. I don't know. He um, is there. She's pretending she knows him. She's like, oh, my God. We remember that I saw you at this place. And yada, yada, yada. In the meantime, swaps a drink. Like, Pink Panther level shit. It's so stupid. Yeah. Um, he drinks it. <laughs> yep. So he took his own drugs. He took his own drugs. To me, that's enough for if he passed out or whatever, she wouldn't get in trouble. No, like, yeah. If she, because her yeah, whole she thing. Was, she was so concerned about her, like, getting in trouble. And she, like, never brought up the fact that, like, he drugged himself. Yeah. She okay. My like first just note, cause, just because she swapped the drink does not mean that she drugged him. My first note was she could have called the police seventeen times before mm-hmm. it escalating to. Because she kept got. being like, "Am I going to get in trouble for mm-hmm. this?" Yeah, and it's like, why all you did you was get, give him his drink. Get, yeah, like why would you get in trouble for him drugging himself else and accidentally <laughs> drinking his? Like, yeah, you could have played she, that off. She doesn't have the brightest mind. No, but her sister's a cop. Like she should know these That's things. Even worse. If anything, I would call this my sister whole, and say, this is what happened. This is, see, like, to me, this is in the realm of, like, miscommunication trope where, like, the entire plot falls apart on one detail. Yeah. Because to me, Several. this entire thing falls Several. apart. <laughs> Several. It's like the linchpin, right? You yeah. pull this one thing out, and the whole crumbles. plot crumbles. So she doesn't call the cops. Instead, she takes this man and puts him in her van mm-hmm. because she's like, well, he's out of it, right? He's Let me drugged. wait till he wakes up. Let me wait till he wakes up. I'll throw him in my fucking van. Now it's kidnapping. Now you are actually committing a fucking crime, you mm-hmm. absolute moron. Mm-hmm. So she she drives him to her house, puts it, he's in the garage, in the van. She leaves the van running. She leaves the van running, goes upstairs, does whatever she has to do, and in the time that she's upstairs doing whatever she has to do, somebody shuts the garage door. We don't know who, but obviously it was an attempt to kill this man, this hated man who is a problem. And so she comes back down to the van. She realizes, holy shit, he's dead. I actually fucking killed him. So she thinks that she killed him. Mm-hmm. And she's but like, again, like he if 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 he was dead, if that was the case, he did it to himself. Well, she, she kidnapped him. him. She brought him there. She kidnapped no, but him. But I'm saying like, I agree. The, I agree. If, if it was the drugs. Then he, he drugged himself. So no matter how you fucking slice this pie, <laughs> it's still like, yeah, maybe she might get a slap on the wrist for kidnapping <laughs> or manslaughter. No, because he. D- she yeah, but him but over. a good enough lawyer on his side could turn it into a whole fucking like yeah. it just He's depends. Dead. He doesn't have a lawyer. It would be a uh, the def- a prosecutor. The prosecutor. prosecutor. Yeah, but like there are people that could turn that around easily yeah, on her. Easily. And if his family has enough money, which it sounds like they do, and, and they work so with bad gonna people, happen, what was going to happen was she was going to call her sister. It's like my sister's going to help me. I'll tell her what happened. I'm sure I'll be fine. And then, then he's she dead. came. Then then she's dead. So now dead. in her mind, she killed him, even though, you know, she no didn't. one's going to believe her. So her kids are going to be taken away. This is when the baby they should be taken away. This is when <laughs> the babysitter have- shows up. <laughs> she Vero. doesn't have electric. What's her name? I think it's Vero. Veronica. So she shows up and she's like, oh, my God, you fucking killed a guy. Whatever. She was. No, she was a little at nonchalant. first. She was like, what? And then she immediately. Was way too nonchalant. Nonchalant. <laughs> that's that's where I was. like, This is ridiculous. Because the babysitter was like, well, we should kill more people. The babysitter was like like no so you're 50 you made 50 oh as soon as she heard fifty thousand dollars she was like, like wait what oh so you want to give me what 15 percent of that yeah or 60 whatever it was like yeah 40, it was, 60? yeah it was like 30 percent and i was like 
That's for just not standing enough there. to be accessory to murder. And they're, for they're, Veronica, yeah, well, she wants it. And they're immediate. Well, she had student loans. Like that some, doesn't even put a dent mm, in most student loans. You're right. You're right. It doesn't most, put a dent in mine. The so. least <laughs> amount of student loans you could possibly probably have is like a hundred thousand. That's not These true. Days. Yeah. Like it, it depends a, on who the person year. is. No, yeah. I'm saying like very a Mine very was like, like little amount, right? <laughs> like yeah. Thirty, baby. <laughs> But I also went to a well, cheap school, maybe. so it depends on what school you go My, to. Uh, mine was 100000 Yeah. Like I said, it depends on what school you go to. What if you and go to community college, you know, and you're only taking... If I went to school. I would have done that first. I know, me too. Actually, no, I went to film school. I anybody anybody difference. who is younger listening to our podcast ready to don't go get to college... Don't. <laughs> don't. What? Don't. Don't go to college. <laughs> no, no. Don't. Go to don't, college. <laughs> don't dissuade people from higher education. Don't yeah, pick Kristen. a school... Sorry. I mean, you don't, don't have pick to a school that you can't afford. Yeah, that and that you, is the ultimate. Like, but you really whatever don't you can't have afford. to go to college. Like some people, well, don't. yeah, you yeah. can go career. somewhere else. I don't think. I think it's career. okay to not explore other options. Yeah, and figure out what you want to do. Community college is not a problem. You don't have to leave your state and be some bougie bitch on your parents' dime. My niece is going to community college. I'm very proud of her. I'm so proud. And of her. And then she's gonna go to PT school. I'm like, look at you. She's See? like, she's like, I'm gonna get a job. But that's, that's gonna a pay for it. Career. So smart. For us creatives, that yeah. are told from the start, it's like art. I'm trying to do art. Okay. Good luck. And then we'd say, well, fuck you, mom and dad. I'm going to go all the way to Florida. I go to film school. Watch me. <laughs> you watch me. Yep. <laughs> Still paying off that debt, y'all. <laughs> but to pay off student loans, I get it. I agree. It wouldn't make a dent. It doesn't make a dent. And it's sure. not worth it. Fine. But. Make it make sense. But. I think she only had like 20K left. I think their next step is ver- is the most extreme. This whole thing. When, when Vero gets involved, I said no. They say, let's no. bury him. Let's bury him. Better yet, let's bury him with my husband's like. I no, that that was the one thing that I was like, yep, that makes sense. <laughs> yep. So so Vero, hundred percent. Vero and Finley go to um, Finley's ex husband Stephen's property. He like sells seeds or whatever grass, yeah. and they bury the body there. And they're yeah, just smart, like, well, I guess brilliant. we're murderers now. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, how long is it before they discover that they weren't the ones that actually killed him? It takes like a long time in the book. No, right? no, two, no, no. two thirds. No, because she's talking. She thinks that she did. She clothed. Well, she has a moment. No, where she, like, she, she comes back into the house and she's like, I, I didn't, didn't close shut the my garage because the garage was closed. Or but how the broken. fuck did she leave then? Because she had the middle helped. The, the she didn't have electric yeah so the, she had to manually open the garage right right no, and the she motor left. was broken yeah the motor was broken that's, that's whatever it sent. is she yeah. couldn't she had to manually do it so she manually opened it left and did not close the garage so when she came back she, she like, was Why? she was thinking about that night and she's like i didn't close that garage or right. whatever it was the garage at some point that she was like i didn't close that garage so she jumped from Somebody being in the house to somebody else killed him. Yes, mm-hmm. because the way he died most likely was through the carbon, the carbon monoxide, monoxide poisoning because yeah. the garage door was shut. She left the van on, which I mean, honestly, though, she left the van on and she had a man in her van who was unconscious. Like she still held accountable yeah, for this. Agreed. Um, but this but to her, so but to her, the moment she finds out it was somebody else, she's like, oh, so I'm not the problem. So I, do I have then, nothing to do with this. <laughs> this Next. whole thing is just like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Right, like anybody <laughs> listening to this who hasn't read this book, this, this is not the most fucking st- <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so this is what I mean. You're just like, Ugh! like that's how I felt. This also, book. I like, another thought can, process too is yeah. like she's so afraid of getting caught for this, right? and then starts dating a cop. No, before she, oh, yeah, she starts dating, she, she it's a love triangle. Um, she's talking to the guy at the bar first. She starts dating the bartender. Yeah, but tells the bartender that her name is her name is her her ex husband's new wife's name. Yep. And she's dressed in her clothes and has a wig on and a wig, a blonde wig that looks like her, or whatever. So the cops start thinking it's the ex husband's wife that is involved. Yeah, which then it leads because to this whole she thing. works with the. It's crazy. There's no way to explain this book without you having read this fucking book. Like I can sit here. This is one of the ones where I'm like, we can go down the story path, but then there's like this side thing that actually there's affects this everywhere. thing, and, and it's, it's impossible. To well, let's get to the next crazy thing where the woman which one. <laughs> I feel like we're spending too much time on the details. I'm trying to get there's so many. Past. Yeah, yeah. So now at this point, she's she knows someone else was involved. She's trying to figure out what happened. At the same time, this woman yeah. who had her husband killed now, she's like, "Listen, oh yeah, I loved your services." At a Pilates, I have I have a friend from Pilates who's also looking to do the same thing. Uh, she'll pay you more. I've given her your your details. <laughs> And Finley's like, I'm not an actual hitman. She's like, you say that, but you just you just killed my husband, so you're definitely a hitman now. <laughs> and then Vero on the other side, she's like, 
but let's get more money i think then. i would have been with vera at that point i would have been like we have a business here let's- now we have a business <laughs> yeah, model yeah <laughs> Finley at this point is like I can't no 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 I can't do this let me go talk to this woman who happens to be a Russian mobster's this wife this is my favorite part of the whole book they go to a spin class this is my favorite part of the whole book she they are screaming spin- at each other they're on two spin bikes and she's like so I just want to tell you that I'm not actually a hit woman and she's like you are a hit woman and they're you're yelling over the music over the music of this like screaming to each other and she's like no you're gonna kill my husband and she's like no I'm not a hit woman I only killed one person and it's like you know and even then I didn't actually kill kill him i'm trying to prove that i didn't kill him see i think like that part is where i i can agree with maria it's ridiculous like, well, it, yeah. it, it gave it definitely gave like that um oh, what's the buddy cop uh will ferrell and um get hard oh, no uh, that's that's not no that's a different one is it get hard i think get it hard? is i think it's yeah, get hard it yeah get hard. one of those it like gave me that vibe yeah mm-hmm. it's, there were it's moments ridiculous. of that but like overall i was like the, the Steve, uh, the ex husband's like new like fiance was like cheating on him. Has her own and, like so has her own fucking gimmick with, with like with a mafia the boss. husband of the woman from the spin class. <laughs> <laughs> like the webs. What was this? It was like it was like get hard, <laughs> but like put it into a fucking telenovela. <laughs> yeah, that's I like do you it. think? Do you think? <laughs> that's gotta be it. That's gotta be yes, it. Because it's so outlandish. The webs. That yeah, were, or the fact that it turns into right. They're like, oh, the the cops. Now she's dating a cop. The cop <laughs> is is suspecting. Um, what's her name? I don't know the, anymore. The real estate agent, I Rachel. Don't, I Wait, don't know. Uh, Jessica, no. <laughs> the blonde. Insert white woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's like, I think she's involved, right? And Finley's trying to be like, she's not. I, I wore the dress, and it was my fault. Right. So, at this point she's trying to be like okay i i know it's not her but i have to try to find a way to get her out but also she's lying about something yeah and next thing we know is that the cop is going to go to this grass field where they've buried this man <laughs> to get tests so she goes to so finley goes to her babysitter also, wait a minute all the, the while book. she's writing a book yes she's writing all of the this crimes book. she's committed how could i have forgotten because that's my book. least favorite part of this book is the book in the book all the while all the she's, the book the book. she's <laughs> pulling all these fucking strings there's shit going on Her everywhere she's the best book on the planet all she I can't picture. get this book written and then suddenly when all this shit's exploding she's like let me just t- spends hours and because hours it's and such hours a good book. book this is the vibe that i got was the author was like okay well she'll write this book in this book meta. and it'll be meta, the meta, best meta. book ever so in reality the author is saying that their book is a good book that will sell like that i couldn't get that on my head where it was like oh it's thousand people agree it's a oh. good book <laughs> well it was it was i'm just saying it was very it was meta it was um yeah, it i don't was know meta. The, the word that i'm meta. looking for it's meta meta and like i don't know i i just picture the author with the strings and like doing <laughs> cocaine and being like how do i put this here and then i put this here and then oh there will be a book that's exactly the same over here but it's good because these strings go together which not for nothing you write a book you know how complicated a book like this can be because yeah. you have to make sure it's all of fucking these absurd. Yeah. make sense. It's absurd, but However, it <laughs> I, don't, and w- w- I don't think the writing was bad. Like, I think all I of I think no, all the writing was fine. The I think all of the elements were there. Yeah. I just didn't, like, the Finley sucks. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. I like the sarcasm. And, like, I like the quick writing. I thought I was interested. Like, I I was able to. I like her and Vettel's relationship yes. as friends. Like, I totally agree with Vettel, that. although I feel like she came in at the, as a Latina myself. Eh, no, no. Don't involve yeah. yourself like that. But she took it with stride. At one point, um, Finley's like, we have to get rid of this money. Like, she's like, all right, I'm going to buy myself a charger. <laughs> get yourself a nice new car. Yeah. Do you think it was, do you think it was racist to make her the babysitter? I mean, there's always one unfortunately yeah they're, they're either the maid the babysitter well the like but like is that a damaging stereotype to put in this case it wasn't to me because she actually did love the kids and it wasn't mm. like uh she didn't know english you know right, right. Yeah, like made it. and she was kind of a badass she was fun yeah like, yeah, 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 yeah she sure. she took the stereotype and flipped it in mm. a way that worked for me good i can't speak for other latinas and right, how they right. feel about this right as a person whose mom is a housekeeper and yeah. is badass at it. Yeah, I take that with pride. Totally, but not everybody agrees with that. So yeah, 
I can't speak you. for all of them. The but. um when they go to the to the grass to like dig up the body, all I could think of was like the way they put the body in there, right? They like wrapped it up in linen. First it was gonna be like saran wrap or something. They were like, Oh, let's wrap it up in She's linen. She's like, I can't even buy the saran wrap. I fucked up. They, they're getting their fucking hair all over him. I mean, this dude is the covered in their also, DNA. Also, covered. She left his phone in his car like such a horrible hit which would have been tracked yeah. to the towers near her home <laughs> just this is a piss poor job but <laughs> it works that ha- down the street is where her husband steven lives so yeah it's like oh so here's another twist for you i remember i was listening to sound on the train i was like are you fucking kidding me so she goes to dig up the body and like her cop friend is going over there to be doing like tests so she's like well we got to move the body right so she starts digging these things up and then lo and behold there's about 50 other fucking it's bodies it's not the actual body there's, it's someone else's body yep. and they realize the russian mobster that's been working with her ex-husband's fucking wife, wife or fiance, fiance i guess uh is dumping bodies on the grounds and she's like well shit and then how does this book end i don't even remember it ends with that man is now um linked to these crimes yeah. no no his hitman his henchman comes and shows up on them as that's they're right. digging up the bodies that's right he's like yeah nah, i'm going to kill you yeah so he goes to kill them and he shoots himself in the fucking face because she throw. i don't know i think she is throws not the most ridiculous thing you've ever throws heard. dirt in his eyes and because so he turns the gun completely so around he holds, he holds <laughs> again if you're not watching on youtube watch real quick he holds the gun right and he's like oh my eyes my eyes with the gun still in his hand and shoots himself in the face unbelievable so he a, drops a hired hitman who this is his job is to shoot this, and kill people he's he's known shoots himself for in the being face. so brutal yeah and so terrible taken out by dirt by his own fucking gun <laughs> The dirt killed him. Like, it would have been better if, like, a tree fell on him. Right? It would have made more sense if a tree fell on him. So they leave his body there, and they make it seem like, well, here's what happened. Big Russian henchman guy got in trouble with his big boss man. Big boss man came here, dumped him with the other bodies. And that's how they linked it to the boss man from Russia. Right. So now he's going to jail. He's not talking because he's not going to talk. He's he's like, So is that case closed? I think they're in the middle of the trial at this point for that or something. Like, how did it end? In? It ends with um, another note. Yeah, but this time it's it's her husband's husband. name on it. Oh, so that's to kill the right. I, I liked that. I liked. I that. thought I was like, oh shit. I yeah, thought that, that was, was a good. really good way to get you to want to read the next book. Is there a yeah. second? There's, one? I think there's three. Because okay. again, wow. I think Stephen is likable enough. Where you like, like I don't think he's that bad of a guy. But I didn't like him. I think that the like him like forcing the babysitter was like out of character. I think it was. Throwing... I think he's just a shitty dude. Like that. Like yeah. I cheated think on I will wife. agree that I feel like it's pretty extreme. That you know he's he's to make her get upset to have to like leave and then come back and be that there at the right moment being the babysitter at the right moment of when the guy dies. Mm. That's the only reason why that actually all happened. It's just to put right. Vero at the scene. Right. I don't know. It was all pretty ridiculous. There's it's, yes. There's one line that I wrote down that I really liked. I think Vera was the one that said it, but it said, I've always wanted to make out with a cop. I bet he was all 50 shades of assertive. I love Vera. Bro. Vera was so fun. Vero, I like my eye twitched. Vera when I came that. with like all like the, the witty. <laughs> yeah. Dumb shit. Yeah. Buying herself a car. Doing great with the kids. The kid I felt was annoying with her little dialogue. Little I didn't four even year old. remember the kid talking. I think that this would make a good movie. Agreed. It would be an interesting one it, if it, it was a, a comedy, comedy. It would be. Movie. It would be Mila Kunis and like uh, uh, Jenny McCarthy. No, not Jenny McCarthy. Which oh, I know one. from SNL. Melissa McCarthy. Oh, Melissa McCarthy. Always. Um, Kinda. Yeah. 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 Like something Melissa like there. that. Like where it's like a bad I, moms see, type. I like, kind of want to see Finley played by Leslie Mann. Ooh, sure. Love I think Leslie. Mann. I think she's a little too be, old for that. But well, yeah. this is a mother of two. Yeah, but she's thirty. Leslie Mann's like. She's 31. She could she could play 50. off. I, listen, I think Leslie Mann looks great. Oh, she does. She or does. give me Leslie yeah. Mann from like early 2000s. Yes. Yeah. Leslie Mann I in, in 2000s. Um, I wouldn't put it today. Oh, I like that. I actually like that a lot. Send it I think later. she said it a little bit late 90s, early 2000s. I think yeah, just could 51. play. Yeah, I love that. She looks great, though. <laughs> she, she looks fantastic. I love um, Leslie Mann. Me too. She's one of my favorites. This is 40. Yeah. I saw that really recently. Back when Crisis times. Age. You know those are her kids in that movie? Like her actual kids in real life. Seriously? Yeah, yeah Maude Apatow. Apatow and uh, well, Judd Judd Apatow directed it, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Maude and the other girl. They're both. I all, didn't know that. Yeah, both her daughters. Fun. Oh wow. Um, They've been married since ninety seven. Oh, yeah, Judd nice. Apatow seems really cool. So this book, um, 
I don't know, man. I, I struggle because maybe because I saw the whole mystery thriller thing and it was not that yeah, for me. I think once I came in, once Vito you came did it in, right. Actually, you know what? This could have been an Adam Sandler movie, too. Yes. See, you guys saying this puts a whole different perspective on it. For yeah. Me. But I'm like, is that what was intended? And it's like, is it, it says kind humor, of fucked humor up? Humor is here. Oh, it says humor. But okay. it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six tags later. I need to read more people's reviews. And I just think see the what fact that it's it. a, a cartoon cover. Is it? I didn't yeah, even see yeah. the cover. Oh, no, I remember you the cover. see the cover. I remember the cover. You're right, you're right. Well, but it's again, like, like uh, there, I've read some real smutty romances that have the cartoon Yeah, there wasn't too. any, like, smut in this, right? No, there but was... there was some romance. Yeah. It was lackluster. I mean, but it wasn't the main plot. It was just a weird fucking book. I'm glad we read it. I, I just don't think... I had lots of fun. I definitely won't be reading book two. Kristen and I are on, this, on, the, tr- on the plane together um, coming back from London finishing it so i finished it before she did yep. i turned to her i was like <gasps> and, and i was like, oh. like christmas face was like Ugh, i'm not into this book i'm like but <laughs> no, really but was. seriously though <gasps> and then i finished the book i was like oh okay yeah, and you're gonna be like seriously <laughs> i was like yeah i'm gonna read the book too i hope you do let me know how it is she has a lot of books does she what else has she written Nothing not too many not. i don't know what that is are they all suspenseful romances at all don't look like it. This so it feels like it was potentially a, a little self inserty, but not in a bad way. It looks well, like she does young adult. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay. I mean, any final thoughts before we finish this up? I thought it was a fun book. I gave it a four. I would give it like a three point seven five if I'm being really technical and really like precise. Yeah. I gave I, it a two, but I would like to read more. A uh, two? I want to read more from this author because I just don't think this genre is for me, but I did like some of the writing, so maybe mm. there's something better out there for me. I gave it a three. I would yeah, never it's more pick of a three. I would never I would never pick this book back up. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but I don't think the writing was bad. Yeah, I agree. I I, I agree with that. Not for me. Not for anybody I would know <laughs> either. So no <laughs> you one. You know Maria. Yeah, you know I would not me. recommend that to you, though. I had a good time. <laughs> I would. It wouldn't have crossed my mind. I recommend it to you. But again, I came at this. Yeah, you did it right. With the, the no once, expectations, no right. expectations. Right. right. I thought it was be more of a mystery. I thought it was gonna be like super intense. Smart. But once the actual like death happened and how it was all a mistake and the Panera and all, <sighs> I was like, this seems ridiculous. Yeah. It's not really much of a mystery to me. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I fucking could totally eat a Panera sandwich right now. Let's do that. For, is for there lunch? Panera in, in this scenario? Let's do that. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this week. Uh, and stay tuned for next week. I'm not going to tell you what's coming because I don't really know. Um, thank you. We love you. Join us on Patreon if you want to. Just go to our Instagram account. Look up Books and Betches. That's Books underscore and underscore Betches. B-E-T-C-H-E-S. <laughs> I'm losing oh, it. Yeah. Um, and there's a link tree in there and you'll find all of our stuff. But most importantly, subscribe to us on YouTube so you can see how ridiculous this yes, podcast is. It's no is. longer on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Yep. We love you. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Oh my God.